So, I'm in northern New Mexico in a place called uh, Ghost Ranch. And this is like a, I kept noticing on the mountainside, there was a bunch of places that looked like they fell out of the mountain. Right? Um, like somebody dynamited it or something. Uh, but then eventually I came to this uh, Echo Amphitheater. So we're going to go check that out. But yeah, check out this. Pretty spectacular. I bet it's awesome. And I noticed it's like on the spring equinox uh, here in a couple days. The sun would be shining directly in this in the morning. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to go check it out and uh, hurry up before the sun goes down and it gets too cold in here. But yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, landscape here and you can camp here if you want to it's like two dollars you could just stop off the road and camp here really cool in here but it's really cool in the morning and the sun's hitting it all right so I'm coming up to what they call the uh, echo amphitheater in here and you can see there's full grown trees in here and uh at the moon but uh yeah check this out looks like a big castle we're gonna go up here and echo yeah just look at that cool waterfall if it was raining so i'm up here in the uh Echo Amphitheater down here. So let's check it out. There we go. So let's check this out. Like you guys can see that, but came up on some antelope there. I don't think they like that I got out of the car. You see them? Yeah, check those guys out right there. They're booking it. Oh, wow, there's one over here. Mexico here. Let me see if I can maybe get a little closer up here without them taking off. That one's yelling at me. I see you, Holmes. You're yelling at me too, huh? Don't like me over here in your area? heard. Oh, you guys all going to stare at me now? Sure you don't want some of this good grass over here? No? I live here and I rarely see these guys out. There they are, look. 
You guys gonna get curious? Why don't you come over here? I'll give you some grass. They're out of here. Anyway, that was cool for a second. Out here in bumfuck Egypt. The middle of nowhere, literally, in New Mexico. Just out here kicking it. Roadside break. The pronghorn, a species of artiodactyl mammal indigenous to interior western and central North America. Though it is not a true antelope, it is often known in North America as the American antelope, the pronghorn buck, pronghorn antelope, prairie antelope, or simply antelope, because it closely resembles the true antelopes of the old world, and fills a similar ecological niche due to parallel evolution. It is the only surviving member of the family Antilocopridae. During the Pleistocene epoch, about 12 Antilocoprid species existed in North America. There was three other that existed when humans entered North America, but now they're all extinct. As a member of the superfamily Giraffa Odia. Giraffa Odia? Whatever. We can't pronounce scientific names on 420 TV. What kind of fucking nature show is this? The Bronghorn's closest living relatives, believe it or not, are giraffes. Look what we found today. I was looking for them. I'm about to fly the drone over them. This is some really good footage here. that cool. that I was trying to take a picture of this guy. Oh, he sees us. What are you doing? What is he doing? Is he just trying to show us he's a badass or what? No, no. He noticed us though. He, he just came over here. What are you doing, dude? Because my drone thing started beeping, didn't it? That's what happened. 
you really wanted to, you could just jump over that fence thing, right? Yeah. to have a battle. He, where's this other guy at? Yeah, he's telling him to fuck off of his herd. That's what's going on. What's going to happen here? We got some traffic. Can't get out of the road. Come over here. And he just took some shit or something. I guess he's not going to uh, challenge this other male today. Yeah, he's bouncing that one. That one's actually bigger, I think, than this guy over here. Look. Uh, where'd he go? No, he's, he was running further that way. Where'd he go? I thought he was going to chase him for a minute, didn't you? Yeah. Where'd he go? I lost him. What happened to him? Looks like he's right behind that bush. Oh, yeah, there he is, by the bush. Yeah, with these two wanting to fight, actually, it's kind of dangerous. I don't want to get in in between that. Look at him, and he's uh, he's over there rubbing rubbing on the uh, yucca. <laughs> I think they're about to. We're about to see a battle royale here. Where'd he go? looking at us. It's hard to believe these things are actually related to giraffes, huh? They're not even deer or nothing. They're giraffe, giraffoids. It's pretty weird. Meanwhile, what's all the ladies doing out here? There's, oh, they're laying down. There's a couple Bambies, even though they're giraffes. <laughs> this is actually really close to where I spotted them last time. Much better camera this time, though. Showing off his stuff, I guess. What's the, the male over there doing? Where'd he go? He's talking shit. But he's leaving. Ish. Alright, we're gonna try to fly the drone on him now.
so we're back, or I'm back, to the amphitheater in New Mexico. What a cool place. We're going to fly the drone and check out the area. And it ought to be pretty cool. Let's see. And there's all these cool places that have fallen out, like this big amphitheater. And I got my trusty sidekick. We're in his leak project gear. Yeah, so, pretty cool place. And that stuff up there is just amazing. It's like a castle that they built or something. It's just supposedly the natural formation. It's really cool. Maybe we can get closer on him. He was a teeny tiny one, huh? <laughs> Look, there he is, right there. I lost him, where is he? Oh yeah, there he is. What the hell was that say? Segundo Martinez. All right, so check it out. We're back at the uh, amphitheater. I don't know if they can hear that in the mic. Did you hear it? Go ahead. Ah! Here, come over here away from the mic, bro. Anyway, we're going to set up the drone and uh, let you guys check out this. So let me show it to you first from down here. Right? So it's, it's quite a ways up there. Yeah, so we're going to set that up and do that then. Here. Nanner, nanner, nanner. Cool. Woo! Woo! Last time I, I didn't hear that on there, though. So. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Here, put it right there in the middle so we have plenty of room to take off. And point it this way so we can check it out. And of course, they'll probably make me do this stupid uh, calibration dance like usual. Yes, I would like to go fly. Thank you. Nope, it's ready to go this time. Take off. Here we go. Traditional technological dance. They like to get you dizzy before you fly their product so that you crash it. Alright, let's try this again. Take off.